Hello everybody. Today's category is one that we haven't done for a very long time. This is a remake of the Taste is Good is from movies, cartoons, and TV shows. First cartoon for today is Despicable Me. In the second part, the Minions made jelly from different fruits. Apparently the taste wasn't great. Let's remake it, but make it delicious. To do this, we took cranberries, blueberries, red apples, one orange, bananas, pineapple, and grapes. To make it convenient to squeeze juice out of all these fruits and berries, we will cut them into pieces. Apples first. And an orange. We cut its peel crosswise. And clean it. Now cut the leaves and peel from the pineapple. Cut the pulp into six pieces. Take one banana and peel it. Everything's ready, so we take it over to the juicer. We put it in a glass for juice, turn it on, and the apples will be the first to go into the juicer. Now the orange. And the pineapple. It turns out to be quite a lot of juice. We throw the whole bunch of grapes straight in and push them through. We throw in the banana, but everything flew into the waste tray. The juice from the banana couldn't be extracted. Blueberries. And the blueberry juice has a rich burgundy color. Finally, the cranberries. That'll give acid to the juice. And the color of the juice turns out just like in the cartoon, pink. Remove the plug and pour all the juice into the saucepan. Now we need agar agar. We open it and pour the whole bag into the juice. Mix with a whisk. Open the sugar container and add two teaspoons of sugar. Put that on the stove and boil for two minutes, stirring occasionally. We take a jar and pour the sweet juice with agar agar into it. We close it and put it into the refrigerator for five hours. Let's see what we got. The jelly froze and it tastes just awesome. Moderately sweet and sour and most importantly, organic. The next cartoon is The Simpsons. Krusty Burger and Homer tried a limited edition rib witch. It's a pork rib sandwich. Let's cook it. Of course we need pork ribs. Using a knife, we cut the fat and tear it off. Now for the special sauce. The first thing that goes in is smoky Tabasco. Open it and add it to the bowl. Now open the ketchup and squeeze it in there. We'll need a lot of it. American mustard. Squeeze out most of the pack. One of the most important things here is liquid smoke. Pour it in. Crush the garlic and peel a couple of cloves. Put those into the garlic press and squeeze them through. Mix all the ingredients together until you get an even sauce. It's both spicy and garlicky and tomatoey and with a smoky flavor. We transfer the ribs to the grill and thoroughly smear the sauce around. We turn it over. And on this side, we repeat the same thing. We also pepper it well. Salt. 
and sprinkle it with smoked paprika. Now we take a bottle of beer, open it, and pour almost the entire bottle on a baking tray. Cover the top with foil so that the ribs, as it were, are bathed in beer steam. We send them into the oven. And right under them is the baking tray with beer. Leave it for three hours at 170 degrees. Let's see what we have there under the foil. The ribs are almost ready, but I smear them with sauce again. Put them back into the oven, but this time without foil. And that's it. The juiciest pork ribs ever are ready. We take out the bones directly with our hands. And we cut the meat itself with a knife. Now our main filling is ready. Now you just need to peel an onion and cut it into half rings. Now we need pickles. We cut them into slices. Take a soft hot dog bun, open it, smear it with the rich aromatic smoky sauce, half rings of onion, pickle slices, and most importantly, meat. That's it. We close it up, and the rib witch from The Simpsons is ready. Let's try it. Oh, this is ridiculously delicious. It feels like I was transported back to summer for a second and ate a grilled meat sandwich. It's understandable why Homer's is constantly buying these rib witches. The last cartoon for today is Ratatouille. Namely, the soup that Remy the Mouse fixed. Cut a leek into two parts lengthwise, and cut it across. Now we take a chicken fillet, we separate the small fillet, and cut everything into strips. And now a crosswise into smaller pieces. We throw four potatoes into the sink and clean them under running water. Done. Now cut the potatoes in half and those into small pieces so it cooks faster. We put two frying pans on the stove at one. We take our cutting board with vegetables and pour the leeks into one of the pans and the chicken into the other. Pour in the oil and start frying it all. The chicken fillet is brought to a crust, and the onion to a slightly golden. We take a saucepan, open and throw three cubes of chicken broth into it, fill it with two liters of boiling water, and stir so that the cubes dissolve. We throw potatoes into the broth, and put this pan on the stove. Cook the potatoes until they're soft. Now let's dump the leeks into the pan. And using an immersion blender, we turn our ordinary soup into a cream soup. Now let's pour in a small package of cream. That'll give the soup a creamy taste. In the cartoon, Remy also added cheese. So grate a small piece of Jordan cheese on a fine grater. And throw that into the soup. Now you can drop in the fried chicken filet. Add some seasoning for your cream soups, a little pepper, bay leaves, and dry basil with tomatoes. And mix it up. Cut our bread into some slices, and fry them so that they become little croutons. Finally chop the green onion. Done, we fill the bowl with soup. Sprinkle the onion and croutons on top. Done! The soup from the cartoon Ratatouille is ready. Let's try it. Oh, it's really good. And besides, it's really easy to cook. But that's not all. Find out who won the battle between me and my parents and write in the comments that you're coming from my channel.
And if we get 300 likes on this video, write in the comments, Vonzai, return the category with movie foods, and I will return this category to the channel. See you soon!